He walks in, and he makes himself right at home. I mean, he basically acts as if he were showing up at an old friend's house. Well, I want to take a shower and look pretty and everything. <laughs> I don't know. We clearly have the element of surprise. I mean, these guys sometimes don't know whether to think I'm the mad dad who came in unexpectedly, the police, or an investigative reporter. And so their mind is whirling away trying to figure out how they're going to deal with this situation. And sometimes they just decide they're going to, you know, act like they did nothing wrong. Would you uh, come on over here and have a seat, please? Uh, yes. How are you doing? Good. How are you? All right. Go ahead. Sit down. Mm -hmm. What's going on? I'm just meeting a friend that I met on the internet. Really? Alan did not miss a beat. It was almost as if when I walked in, I was somebody he had met before. No admission at all that this was a bad situation, that what he was doing here constituted a felony. You know, he was here to have a date with a 13-year-old, and yet now he's going to be my best friend. And who's your friend who you met on the Internet? Um, Sam. Sam? Yes. And Sam is who? A person I met off the internet. Man, woman? Oh, it's a, it's a girl. It's a girl. I don't know how old. That's why I'm here. I'm just curious. They can say they're curious, and I'm sure they are, they are curious. But when you go back and read the chat log, it's not hard to, to see that they were more than curious. They were there to, to uh, actually have a sexual liaison. It was curiosity that... Absolutely curiosity that got me. And what's your name? Dan. Dan. And what's your last name, Dan? Alan. Alan. We knew that there was a, a conviction in his past. It had to do with a, a, a domestic incident, uh, stalking. You know, he had gotten in trouble for that. So, you know, here he is, some years later, apparently willing to commit another crime. How old are you, Dan? Forty-seven. Forty-seven. But you know, and you say, just wait one second, and you say, <laughs> Wow, 13, am I too old? Nah, am well, I too young? I hate to say this, but okay. you're not. Why do you hate to say that? Because it's say, like I'm some old pervert, but girls your uh, age yeah, okay. are so much but more let, fun. Let me, I, I have conversations like this with people that turn out to be guys more than half the time, you know, or they turn out to be very nice women. And that's basically how it goes out there. I don't, you know what I mean? But if somebody tells you they're a 13-year-old girl, don't you see something inappropriate about that? M maybe so, but I, I had my, I, my big doubts that she was 13. But if somebody says they're 13, maybe you should just stay away. Well, yeah, you're absolutely, you're absolutely. Right. I mean, why take the chance? Like I say, a, a couple past experiences show that they're never 13. You know, so you visited people online. You visited people who you met online who said they were 13 before. Well, yeah, 13 or 15. So it's not the first time you've done this. Well, no. It's wait a minute. It, <laughs> I've never met a 13-year-old girl from offline. But what I'm it's saying what I'm is, say. did you ever because go meet somebody who said they were 13 online? Um, no, not 13. 16 in, in my area, and it was a it was a a guy that was, I don't know, mid-twenties, you know, who had the, a big laugh on me. Th that's why I was just, I was just very curious. There were a few moments when I was talking to Dan Allen where I thought, you know, based upon the look in his eye, that this could go a couple different ways. One of them, not so good. Boy, I wish I could just run home with my tail between my legs and I feel like apologizing, but I mean, like, it's cyber. I, who do I apologize to? And, and I don't know. I, I feel sick. Well, I am not the police. No. But I am Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC and we're doing a story on computer predators. He knows that he's in a bad situation once the 
the camera guys come out. And so he's not going to try to be my pal anymore. He's mad. Ah, well, you better, I'll shove that camera down his throat. I don't think you're going to want to do that. Why is that? I don't think you'll want to do it. Now, we can't keep you here. If you want to say anything else to us, we'd love to hear it. You're free to leave, obviously, if you want to go. Had he decided to pursue the more aggressive route, and had he gotten physical, I mean, you know, we had security there, and, and security people would have stepped in to prevent that from happening. Okay, but can I talk to you outside? You can say whatever you want to say. To me. Well, I mean, I obviously want to say something off camera. Well, I can't have the cameras turned off at this point. Well, then I'd like to say that <laughs> pretty much I think you have it all wrong. But your point's well taken. If you want to follow up, my email's on here, my phone number's on there, you can call me, talk to me if you want to follow up. <clears throat> Hi, guys. <laughs> pretty weird. Cut. I know that what he wants to do is get me outside off camera and try to convince me that he shouldn't be a part of our investigation. And that's just not an option. And so it sounds weird, but I'm trying to be, you know, polite and decent with the guy, but yet at the same time suggest that, okay, it's time to go. <laughs> well, they're going to stay on. I mean, you're free to leave at any time. I mean, I, I say, I'm not going to try and keep you here. I, you know, if you have anything else you'd like to say, fine. No, you're just doing a story, and, you know, I, I've got caught up in it, is what you're saying. But um, it's probably a very good story. Anything else you'd like to say? Uh, nope. Okay, free to go. <laughs> Why don't you come on out the front way if you want? Sure. Yeah. I think sometimes these guys are trying to figure out, you know, how they're going to leave. You know, if they, if they go out a different door, are they better off doing that? Most of these guys are not hardened criminals who are going to try and run from police. Once they see that they're going to be arrested, that a number of deputies or officers are there, they pretty much cooperate.